Hobby Shooters, right here for another out of the box into the match gun review of the Steyr. This is Steyr. I like the tagline. Count on it. Steyr. I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher it because I can never remember. It is the Steyr L9A1. I think it's a neat looking gun. I say that about a lot of guns. I'm I dig the mechanical tools that are ballistic tools, ballistic fire, firearms. Um, Interesting gun, nice layout. I got the, the uh, threaded barrel. That's what I could get from Defender Outdoors, where I buy my guns. So I got a hold of them. This is what they had in stock. It's what I bought. Again, I get to, uh, most of my guns I buy so I can test them and tell you the truth. Even if I get them uh, 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 on a loan, like from Grand Power, I mean from uh, Eagle Imports, who is very generous with me, they still get the truth and they know that. Uh, but they still keep sending guns to me. I really like a company that stands behind their products and recognizes that you, the consumer, want to know the truth and that's what I'm here for. Anyways, the Steyr, uh, again, I'm going to say M9, but it's not. It's an L9A1. Ergo steel great. Uh, trigger is a stri striker fired gun. It's like a six pound trigger pull, but very nice. Very nice. Um, it points high for me. If I just, you know, close my eyes and, and stretch my arms out, the front sight's way high. And speaking of sights, they call them trapezoidal. And which is a kind of a, a, a triangular shaped front and the two little lines in the rear. It's an odd setup. Will I be able to do it? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, but in just a moment here, we'll have to, you know, put this thing in the holster. Speaking of holsters, good old Red Hill Tactical is really good at creating holsters for whatever it is I need. And I don't think they're selling a metric ton of these guns, so a metric ton of these holsters aren't available. But this one is absolutely perfection for fit. Um, but and I've asked <laughs> Red Hill Tactical, Robert King, just make me a gun bucket that fits everything, something universal, it can be sloppy. No, is the answer. Actually, he gave it a try, and I could tell it was beneath his standards. He's just not going to produce something that isn't to his standards, so he doesn't. So I end up getting holsters now for about every gun I shoot, unless I can make it fit in something else and don't tell him I'm doing that, because he's a perfectionist. That's why they're really, really nice holsters. Um, PK, RHT, if you want 10% off on Red Hill Tactical. Anyways, guys, uh, the Steyr L9A1 is getting ready to be shot right out of the box on the Range, after, range Officer's Command at this Out of the Box and to the Magic Gun Review at my local club here in Euphrates, Washington. Thanks, guys. Make ready. All right. This is a really comfortable little gun. Uh, I wasn't going to tell everybody at home, but I'm shooting two different guns today, and they're decidedly different. And, man, this thing just feels great. Steyr L9A1. Yeah, it feels great. Do I shoot it great? We'll find out. Shooter's ready. Stand by. They're decidedly different. This thing points way high. 598. 598. The other gun's a much more conventional grip angle. Excuse number 118. Stand by. Five eighty-six. There's a scratch in the wrong space on this screen. Come on, Pat. Watch the sights. Stand by. Six twenty. I can see it. It's going right over the top. It's just not holding the front sight on the targets. Right over the top. Then why are you pulling the trigger? That's the answer. Why are you pulling the trigger if the sights aren't on target? Because I'm in a hurry! Stand by. Wow. 537. And I need more ammo. I hope you don't get sick. I thought two 15 round mags I could get through this. Alright, nice and smooth. Stand by. Four eighty-four, and it's empty. <laughs> Loaded it just right. <laughs> Load show clear. Slide down. Put it away. That's <sighs> such a good trigger, and it feels so nice. I should be really rocking this thing now. Go ahead, and make ready. Come on, Steyr. She didn't have, but I haven't. I'm shooting it. I'm shooting two guns, like I said, and I'm shooting this one. I shoot one of them back to back, and the other one back to back. And the one I shoot back to back, I shoot better the second time I shoot it. So hopefully, that'll happen with the Steyr.
Shooter's ready. Stand by. Hard. 417. 417. Come on, Pat. Stand by. Hold down on the target and bang. 651. This is a bad sign. Running mags empty is a bad sign. I like shooting it though, it's very comfortable. Stand by. Three ninety six. Stand by. Three oh two. Three oh two. Last three. Stand by. Three thirteen. Three thirteen. Unload, show clear. Slide down, hammer down, put it away. Again, great trigger. Ergonomics are really good for the gun itself. At just point, I've had several other people handle it. If you're not used to it, it points way high, and it's difficult for me to force my wrist cam it over to get that front sight on the target. It's just the nature of a particular gun design. You shoot a Luger, a German Luger. It's got a weird grip angle. You shoot a, you know, every other kind of gun. Revolvers, they're all different. You just got to get used to them. Thank you. Rock and roll, Steyr. Got a heavy duty recoil spring in it, but it runs just fine. Shooter's ready. Stand by. Three oh six. Okay. What two extra shots? Jeez, Pat. Stand by. Three sixty six. Come on, Pat. Stand by. Can I get that one? Can I get that one? If I get that one. Uh, seven fifty, seven sixty five. Two more rows or one more? Two. Two. Good. And I'll put uh, a few more rounds in the gun. Having too much fun at my own ammo expense. All right. All right, stand by. Two fifty-six. Two five six. Yeah, I can do it. Last it is three. possible. The gun's so much so much fun to shoot. It ought to come with three mags. He likes the way it shoots. Stand by. Two forty-nine. There you go. Unload show clear. Slide down. Hammer down. Put it away. It is a fun gun to shoot. If I got used to it, I bet I could really rip with it. So, yeah, weird grip angle, different grip angle, not a normal grip angle, not something I'm used to. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's a solid piece of equipment. Last chance of glory with the Steyr L9A1. Shooter's ready. Stand by. 282. Now, can I do that again? I should be able to do that every time. That was a, like a freak. Stand by. 360. 360. Stand by. I shouldn't have to know how the gun reloads or not. I shouldn't know that. 765. You get one good one, it's like playing golf, right? You hit that one really good shot, you keep going the rest of your life, buy new clubs, get lessons. Arg. Stand by. 
352. Come on, Patrick, just smooth out a little, just a little. Last train. Stand by. Three twenty-seven. Three. Unload so clear. Slide down, 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 put it away. Thank you. It is a cool gun. The Star built a really nice gun. Um, it's one of those things. If I shot it long enough, I know I could tear it up. The gun is very ergonomically comfortable. It fits really nice in the hand. Strange how far the hand fits forward in the gun. It does point high, but you get used to it. It rocks. Hey shooters, we're out here finishing up the out of the box and 10 match gun review of the Steyr L9A1. Did I get that right? L9A1. This is their full size uh, 9mm autoloader. I'm impressed with the ergonomics, how it feels in the hand. Uh, the trigger is fantastic. The sights, I think, really hamper the gun without starting off with a big negative. I know it'll shoot better than two and a half or three inches at 25 yards. I know it will. I shoot two or three shots together and other ones are flying out. So is that a problem with the size of the barrel or the crown or something? Or is it really the, my inability to extract accuracy with these crazy trapezoidal or triangular sights, whatever they are? I just find it just seems like somebody wasn't thinking this thing all the way through when they created these sights. Notch and post have been around forever and notch and post work. Every top shooter on the planet runs a notch and post sight. Doesn't mean there's something better out there, but I don't think those are it. Personal opinion. So I think the gun is more accurate than that. It fits tighter than that. Everything just feels very high quality about this gun. The magazines are excellent. Again, the ergo, ergos, now while it points really high, everyone put it in their hand and went, wow, it points literally. It's, it, you could see the gun look like this kind of angle when people grabbed it in their hands. And I said, I think I said it on tape several times. On tape, well, I'm an old guy. Uh, that it's a, just a matter of, of training, getting used to it. This is a gun that has a different grip angle. Other guns have different grip angles. You just get used to it and you're fine. Um, and if I got used to it, I think I could really make this thing sing, even with the crazy sights. And for, for combat use or steel challenge use, non-super accuracy use, these sights are fine. To find the front sight, you break a clean shot, because it's all about the trigger, kids. Break a clean trigger, the gun's you know, relatively aligned, you'll be fine. Yeah, I got a lot of wind out here today. Maybe that had something to do with the groups, but I don't think so. Either way, Steyr L9A1. Solid performer, dead reliable, shot every kind of ammo I had here uh, from 147 flat points and round noses and hollow points. I, you can't feel it feed. It's just very well engineered pistol. Uh, the trigger is a little over five pounds, breaks, breaks clean. It is a striker fired gun. And it has a very low bore line. Again, the ergos are lovely other than it points high. Again, a training issue, you could, you could overcome that. Mags are 15 round with the plus base, they hold 17. Very reliable, very narrow grip too. I mean, this I got a, I have a good sized hand, you know, extra large or size 11 hand, and you can almost see my fingers can almost come back and touch. So that's got a very narrow grip for a, a double stack nine millimeter. I haven't uh, detail stripped it, and I don't plan to. Uh, but every indication I see from the cocking indicator in the back, the little plunger right there pops out, to the sights and the assembly and the front cocking serrations, everything just looks very, very well built, very well thought out and very well assembled. I like it. Um, will it stay in my stable? It will for a while. I think I'll see if I can find some other sights for it because again, I want to see how well it'll shoot. I think it'll shoot better than what I was able to extract out of it today. Uh, again, two and a half was uh, about good. Three is what it could do on average with me. And I had groups larger than that. And I really think it liked the 147s. The 147s seemed to throw them all over the place. So I think that may be an incompatibility between ammunition and gun. But everything else, you could see clusters and then flyer and a cluster and a flyer. I think it was just me not being able to find a, uh, a repeatable sight picture with these, with these oddball sights. Anyways, Steyr L. 9A1. Solid performer, and I think they're relatively inexpensive. I remember right, I bought it from uh, Defender Outdoors where I buy my handguns. Uh, I think it was a much better value than I thought it was. It was under 500 bucks. 
of closer to four. And that's a lot of gun for 400 bucks. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share. You know it's difficult. And if you, I guess there's a bell icon somewhere on the uh, a notification bell uh, on the uh, YouTube page somewhere. Click that. You know, uh, ladder, ladder with Crowder. We've been telling, harping on that. Hey, hit that. That way you will actually be notified of a new video because sometimes people either get dropped, some people subscribe and they get their subscription drop. YouTube's been doing some weird stuff with us gun sites. Uh, and if YouTube really gets too crazy, I've got another uh, companion site on Vimeo, which I'll start uploading stuff there. We'll keep this channel going. It's not about the money, kids. Like you guys who talked to me at the NRA show just here last week down in Dallas. You let me know you like what I'm doing, I'll continue to do it. It's not about the dollar, whole dollar a day that I make at my peak that keeps me doing this. I do this to try to get out quality information from a competitor's point of view. I've got a lot of experience with, in the firearms field. I've been competing in all different kinds of disciplines for 30 years. And you guys seem to recognize some value in that. And I want to continue to offer that to you. So if you let me know you like what I do, I will continue to do what I do. So please check out Federal Ammunition because they really support me big time. Defender Outdoors to buy your guns. They support me. Savage for any kind of rifle. Uh, check out Savage. Please, guys, help me out and I'll help you out. We'll talk to you all later. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.